What is the line between learning about somebody else's faith and then like accidentally appropriating their traditions and their faith? It's a tricky line. From what I've seen from like my mosque and community, there hasn't been that many instances where we kind of cross the line. There's people that have participated in fasts with us that are not of the religion. So I think we're in, in especially in terms of Ramadan, very open to whatever people want to experience. I think it's just all about understanding that like you are a guest and being not in that you should walk on eggshells, but, you know, understanding like, hey, you don't know, you know, like, don't try and guess certain things, right? Like, just ask, be curious, be genuine. And you know, I think more often than not, people are very happy to share their traditions in their culture. And I think if you're reading the room, you do your own research, you make sure you don't put all that work on them as well. And you come in that sense, then I think it'd be very difficult to do something truly offensive. Intention is like the big portion here. I think it can be really obvious when it's like genuine and earnest. I think that's the key indicator. My family had a Diwali party a while back and I know we invited a lot of people, a lot of white people or a lot of people who were just non-Indian. I think one of the things is like a lot of them asked about like clothing, like what, whether like where they could find Indian clothes or what kind of Indian clothes to wear and stuff like that. You know, in them asking and being curious and the way they were approaching it was wanting to be a part of that. I think that it was very obviously done in a very genuine way.